This becomes a rather long video now, but alright. So I do star trails with the Rico. And here's my setup. So there's two ways to do it. Either you put the camera flat onto the ground and use only one lens, or you use both and then you need a tripod. So I put the stick into the ground and I have a thread on this little stick where I can screw into the camera. And once I have that in there, I can stick the camera into the ground like that and uh, it won't move. Uh, if I do this for six hours, I need power for the camera. So I use this little USB cable and an iPhone charger to supply power to the camera. And then I run this cord through my backyard. So I have power the whole time. Plug this in here. The USB port, turn the camera on, it's charging now, and then we remotely work with the camera from our smartphone. And that is the next step I show. So once this is in the yard like this, then we can go inside the house. We don't have to sit outside in the cold to remotely use the camera. Good. So first we make sure that we are locked in into the same network of the camera. Here, as we can see, I am. There is my wireless connection to the camera. Alright, so next step is to open the camera app. There we go. Go into the camera itself to see what photos are on there already. Uh, we are looking at transfer at all pictures on the camera and I'm going to delete those so you push the select in the right corner here then click on every single picture you don't like anymore and hit the delete button and this thing cleans out the camera so the camera is empty what is a good thing and then we need to find out the settings for the camera okay so I um, had there we crash we try again can't have everything. So where is it? Here. Okay, much better. Now, usually the camera sits in auto mode, but uh, we want everything manual. Okay, so let's change that to manual. Where are you? Here, shutter priority, ISO, manual. Okay, shutter speed. Um, Let's do the white balance first. So I go to uh, outdoors white balance usually, where the little sun is, the second one, this one. Then the ISO, you can do 200, 100, whatever. Uh, the larger this number, the more noise. So let's do 200. And the shutter speed. I had a very good experience with 15 seconds. So. I have an exposure of 15 seconds and I take a picture every 20 seconds. But so you have to try this for yourself what works the best for you. So you take a test image, then you click the little X. So first you take the picture, now you hear this uh, or see the message image synthesizing, then you go onto the little X here, go back to your camera. Click on the not transferred image, wait for it to transfer. There, and then you look at it. And here is all automatic here, so then you move it around and you see if your star is nice or whatever. So you look if it gives you a good picture or not, if it's too bright or not. And um, if this is not good enough, then you take another one, right? Change your value a little, take another one um, until you are happy with the result. Don't forget to delete the ones you don't want. Makes it easier later. So now at one point you figure out your value you need. Uh, in my case, as I said, again, 15 seconds. That would be here, 15, where is it? 15 seconds. That's what I used in my case. Okay. Now you go into the upper right corner here, into the settings menu, and you turn the interval shooting on. There we go, turn that on, and then we set the interval. So in my case, because I have 15 seconds, I can do every 20 seconds. If you have 30 seconds, then maybe every 35 seconds you take a picture. 
There is a number of total shots where you can set a number. I would not do that because you are limited, as you can see here, to 200. And that may not be enough. So you go to not specified and then it can do the maximal number possible, how much memory you have. 1618 shots in this case, right? So when you're done, then you click on here to take the picture and then this thing is in its mode, right? So it's doing this now the whole time um, until the memory is full or until you push that button again there in the middle. And once it's done, we copy the pictures to our computer and work on there. Good, so after a whole night of picture taking, next morning then, um, we take the pictures from the camera and put it into a folder. I use image capture for that. I assume everybody knows how to get his pictures off the camera. And then the resulting folder is here a bunch of pictures. So I did here one hour here, 8.20 till 9.17. I have one hour worth of images. We can look at one. Comes out of the camera. Here's my backyard and some stars up here, okay? Um, I have to mention that I have a broken lens. You see here this area? There's like a weird dot. That's where the camera fell onto the lens. That's not too Good, but what can we do? Now, Star Stacks app. That's the app I use to make a nice picture. Um, let's select all the pictures I have in here and drag this into the software. I have 173 pictures, right? And in here I can see every single picture I want. On the right side I can choose a blend mode. Lighten, darken, subtract, average, whatever. There's a lot of things in there. Let's do the lighten thing first. Um, you can do a comet mode. There's two th things. To it. So the, the comet mode, and it looks like a comet trail. So it is thin at the beginning and thicker at the end. Okay. Not much you have to do here. You just go to process and this thing basically goes from one picture to another. Now this lighten mode is pretty quick, doesn't take long. Uh, how many pixels do we expect, like 1300 or what overnight if we do six hours? And uh, while this here runs, I can click on what I have here. You can see here the comet trails, right? This is one of the resulting pictures. Here is another one. This one. You can see here lines. So this is not a comet trail, this is more like lines. And as we know, when we use the uh, Ricoh camera, so we have basically two lenses, one doing the lower part, one the upper part, or the camera is sitting upright, then left half, right half. Uh, at the border up here, it, the image quality is not that great. It's better in the middle. Here's my blending is done. And when I'm done with blending, then I can here say save, and save this thing, for example, on the desktop. Okay, here, desktop. Test, now, desktop, save, down here it is, you go away here, this one, so this is what I just did here, here we see the polar star, and there it is, okay, so if we put the camera on the side that we only use one lens, then I believe we have a better image quality for our stars. So this is something to think about. Um, with those pictures I have here, I have the whole thing, right? Everything. So let's open the Theta app. 
And if I now drag this test now picture in here, then I can see basically how this in 3D looks like, see? You can move around and I see the ground, it's all good and fine. With uh, only one lens, I would only have half of this, right? But I can see the stars here, see that? Nice. All right, this here is probably an airplane going through there. And so our next thing is how to make a time lapse of this. So we have all the pictures in here. I can use a QuickTime uh, 7. QuickTime 7 you find at Finder, Go, Utilities, and then in there you have QuickTime 7 somewhere here. It is not the new QuickTime, this is the old QuickTime, right? QuickTime 7. And in there you can open an image sequence. Open an image sequence, and I think... I want this one. <coughs> so, you click one, and say open, and tell it how fast. So, I'm going to go slow here on this one. 12 frames per second, okay, and then you get an extremely large video, view half the size, is it still too big, fit to screen, so you get a very large video because this image is so big, and then you can play this and you can see how the stars go in uh, time lapse. There you saw uh, Oh, the airplane went through here, there. See that? So, something flew through here. There. And, uh, this then you can save as whatever. Export uh, here, save as video. And then reuse this. Okay. So you have a time-lapse video and you have a single thing here.